Is Boxable the future of housing, or a potential $1,000 mistake burning a hole in your digital wallet? That's the big question on a lot of minds, especially with shares being offered at 80 cents a pop, with a cool grand as your entry ticket. We've all seen the sleek designs, the promises of revolutionizing how we build and buy homes. Maybe you've even pictured one of those casitas in your backyard, or better yet, your investment portfolio skyrocketing like a SpaceX launch. But hold on to your hard hats. Before you dive headfirst into the world of prefab foldable housing stock, we need to unpack what's really going on with Boxable. Boxable is groundbreaking and cutting edge, but is it? Let's find out. We've dug deep into the filings, the blogs, the whispers, and the shouts to bring you an honest, no-fluff look at this intriguing investment opportunity. Don't be that guy that goes in hot without the intel. Now, full disclosure, and this is important. This video is for informational and entertainment purposes only. As of May 11, 2025, it is not financial advice, it is research. Investing in private companies like Boxable carries significant risks. We're talking illiquidity, potential loss of your entire investment, the whole shebang. The SEC has qualified their offering, which simply means they can sell securities. It's not an endorsement or a guarantee of success. And those forward-looking statements, they're like weather forecasts. Best guesses, but reality can and often does chart its own course. Always, and I mean always, read the official offering circular and consider chatting with a qualified financial advisor before making any investment decisions. So, what exactly is Boxable? Founded in 2017, these folks aren't just building tiny homes, they're aiming to build a housing revolution from their base in Nevada. Their mission? To mass-produce housing at scale, making it more affordable and quicker to deploy than traditional construction. Think of it like the Henry Ford assembly line but for your future abode. Their star player is the Casita. A 361 to 375 square foot fully equipped unit that literally unfolds on site. We're talking kitchen, bathroom, living area, the works. They boast over 50, even 60 patent filings, a testament to their innovative approach. And the applications, residential, disaster relief, military, even stackable apartment style units. The vision is undeniably grand. And they've got traction, or so the claims go. We've seen figures like 190,000 plus casita reservations, over $150 million raised from more than 40,000 investors, and even a contract with the U.S. military. They've built a few hundred houses and are working on scaling up their Bogzilla factory, envisioning it as the world's most advanced housing factory, pumping out homes with robotic precision. Sounds impressive, right? Like investing in the next big disruptive tech, but for something as fundamental as shelter. But here's where the story gets a few more folds, and not all of them are as neat as a casita delivery. Let's talk about the money. The current buzz is an offering at 80 cents per share, minimum investment $1,000, primarily through platforms like Start Engine and DealMaker. They're aiming to raise a hefty sum, up to $74 million in one of their recent pushes. They've even reserved a NASDAQ ticker BXBL, an IPO on the horizon, maybe? But reserving a ticker is like reserving a cool Instagram handle. Doesn't mean you're an influencer yet. Now for the not-so-shiny parts. According to some deep dives into their 2023 financials, meaningful revenue hasn't quite materialized yet. Yes, you heard that right. Despite the reservations and the hype, actual sales hitting the books in a big way were reportedly lagging. Operating losses were up, liabilities were up, and inventory levels were rising which makes you wonder about the conversion rate of those thousands of reservations, especially when customer deposits are forfeited if they don't buy. One YouTube analyst Mo Luker back in mid-2023 even flagged concerns about their unit economics not being figured out, an evaluation he described as jaw-dropping. While that's an older take, these are the kinds of questions any savvy investor beginner or pro needs to ask. Are they building a sustainable business or just a really cool but expensive product? Then there's the challenge of scaling. Building a few hundred units is one thing. Mass producing thousands, consistently, affordably, and navigating the labyrinth of state-by-state -state regulations and permits? That's a Herculean task. They've made progress with licensing, but some key, densely populated states are still on the to-do list. 
So what's the bottom line for someone thinking of putting their $1,000 or more into Boxable? Well, there are the potential upsides, the future of housing dream. I mean, if Boxable can crack the code on mass-produced, affordable, high-quality housing, the sky's the limit. This could be like getting in on the ground floor of something truly transformative. Everyone needs a place to live. AMD affordable solutions are desperately sought after. But despite the strong initial interest, those reservation numbers and investor counts aren't nothing. There's clearly excitement. And what about IPO potential? If they do go public successfully, early investors could see a significant return. Big good there. So, what about the potential downsides, the $1,000 mistake reality? The profitability puzzle is truly the biggest question mark. Can they make money doing this at scale? The jury is still very much out. And what about execution? Ideas are easy, execution is everything. Scaling manufacturing and navigating bureaucracy is tough. This isn't like buying Apple stock. Selling your private shares can be difficult if not impossible for a long time and they're not the only ones in the modular or prefab game. It's a competitive space. Scaling a multi-billion dollar enterprise requires a specific skill set, bringing to question management experience. Past performance isn't a guarantee, but a track record helps. Think of it like this. Investing in Boxable right now is a bit like funding an ambitious expedition to find a lost city of gold. The potential reward is immense, world-changing even. But the risks are equally massive. You could hit the jackpot or you could end up with just a really interesting story in an empty canteen. The appointment of a new CFO with IPO experience is a positive sign, suggesting they're serious about their financial future. And they are innovating, with new designs like the baby box and connectable modules. But these are steps on a very long journey. So, is Boxable stock worth the hype? Is it your ticket to early retirement or a cautionary tale waiting to be told? Honestly, no one can give you that answer with certainty. What we tell you is that it's a high-risk, potentially high-reward venture into a company trying to do something genuinely different in a massive industry. Our advice? Don't get swept up in the hype alone. Do your own homework. And when we say homework, we mean read the offering circular. It's not as exciting as a viral video, but it's where the real details lie you can usually find it on their investment page. Understand the risks. Understand the business model beyond the cool pictures. And be honest with yourself about your risk tolerance. What are your thoughts on Boxable? Are you an investor? Are you considering it? Let us know in the comments below. Let's get a discussion going. And if you found this breakdown helpful, hit that like button and subscribe for more deep dives and share this with anyone else pondering the Boxable question. Thanks for watching. Invest wisely, don't be that guy. And we'll see you in the next video.